Guys and girls, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. What we talk about here is hair replacements and hair systems. We talk about bonding it, cutting it, cleaning it, installing it, maintaining it, and a life with it. Subscribe below, it's down there. If you would consider it, super important to me. I can teach you how to do all of this, guys. Uh, the video ebook is available. The written ebook is available. Um, the starter kit will get you everything you need at home, and you can click the order hair now. We'll take you to our other website, which is hairbymhe.com. You've got my hair experience is the knowledge. Hairbymhe.com is the hair unit itself. Use coupon code MHE20 to save 20%. Um, I'm Curtis, I'm your guide to help you do that. Today I'm doing a product review, and this is gonna be a weird one. My normal viewers are probably gonna say, Curtis, what are you doing a review on a hair dryer for? Well, guys, we have to use hair dryers now, depending on how long our hair is. And this is gonna be a real world, time used, guy's perspective on a $400 hair dryer. You guys all know when it comes to little frivolous stuff, I am as cheap as it gets, okay? I am cheap, 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 cheap. My birthday was a couple of days ago and I got, I've been looking at this, don't get me wrong, I've been looking at it. I've been eyeballing the F out of it, okay? Don't get me wrong, I've been wanting a new hair dryer. But I don't think I could stomach 400 bones. So, Amanda surprised me with a Dyson hair dryer, okay? This is gonna be my real world opinion on it from a guy's standpoint. I think $400 just instantly in my head says, you're crazy, it's a freaking hair dryer, it blows hot air. That's what it does, it blows cold or hot air. Why should it be $400? This box, I mean, is like ridiculous. Um, the hair dryer rethought, therm, Amanda, how do you say this word, thermistor? Thermistor guards? How do you, T-H-E-R-M-I-S-T-O-R, thermistor? Guys, I don't spell very well. I did go to college. Thermistor guards against extreme heat and damage to protect natural shine, fast drying, engineered for balance, smooth and controlled styling. It, it's, this thing's gizmo gadget, guys. This thing is the, uh, hair dryer of all hair dryers. And do I think it's worth 400 bucks? No, I don't. Do I think it's worth 250, 300 bucks? Yeah, I do. Um, a big deal to me, and there's a lot of things with this, like, like that's the filter. As you can tell, stuff's going everywhere. Hold on. I have been using this and I didn't want to do, look at that, would you look at that? Look at that, how cool is that? I've been using this now, honestly, for, I don't know, I guess my birthday was about a month ago, and I've been using it for that amount of time, and I wanted to get some time on it before I said anything about it, because that's just not a fair review if you're not going to actually use it. Okay, so, what I see is not $400. Just like I said, I see about $350, uh, or $300, $250, $300, bucks. and I only see that because this thing will blow a freaking house down. Um, it has three settings, one, two, three, and it has heat, three heat levels, and it also has a cold function. Um, it has a hole through the center, so it doesn't make any sense at all. How, how does it blow? I mean, I don't get it. It blows from the bottom. It pulls from the bottom where the filter is that I showed you guys, and then it puts it out of the top through the middle here. So you can put your finger all in it, doesn't really matter, okay? Um, guess we're getting dust everywhere. Um, it has three attachments. One has a, a, a thingy in the middle of it that's like a diffuser, which is this one. This is the one I use a lot because I like my hair flat and straight. This one has the same thing, but it goes in four different directions. Okay. And this one I have never used. It's just been sitting in my thing, um, in my cupboard. It would be more for girls to do uh, more hair at one time on their scalp, um, to build body at the scalp never used that before but the other one I like a lot because I can take it like this and blow dry this direction and brush down and straighten my hair even is fake hair who cares it still takes time to do it um, and with this actually uh, it, 
I've used other hair dryers in the past and this, and guys, all disclosure, full disclosure and transparency, this is not sponsored. Amanda bought this for me, paid $400 plus tax. No one gave me anything, we bought this. Um, so that's full disclosure. Um, they didn't give me, I wish they would've, that'd have been kind of cool. Happy birthday, right? I mean, come on, Dyson, please. Um, anyways, um, so when you use it to blow dry, just like I said, it'll blow a house down. Um, and a good hair dryer is a hundred bucks anyways, 150 bucks. So they seem to last about a year to two years from what I've noticed. Um, but with this one, I need to get, I'm going all over the place. What I've noticed is I can't use it on anything higher than the number one setting, speed setting, because it, it will blow, even though it is a channeled blow, a channeled air factor there, it blows too much on a guy's head uh, to be able to control anything you're trying to do to lay it flat or whatever. Now I'm no hair expert, I just know how fast it takes for a normal dryer to dry hair and this to dry hair and this does it faster. Probably 30 or 40 percent faster even on its slowest speed. Um, and when I say this thing blows, I'm not even joking. Check, check this out. So that ain't goes. There we go. I mean, are you kidding right now? Really? Um, let's try that again. I mean, that's, that's just nuts. Um, it blows with an absolute ton of force. So I use it and push the hair down and comb at the same time to get that straighter look that I like. Um, with the filter being in the bottom like this and not in the back, I feel that cleaning this is much simpler to where you can actually clean it and you're not gonna burn up the, uh, the hair dryer because you can't get to the, the back filter screen to be able to clean it. Um, that's a big deal and what I personally think to be a lot of the reason why other hair dryers blow up and burn up is because the motors are probably crap in them. They get clogged up in the back a little bit. You get about a year and a half out of it and you just throw it away and you spend 100 or 150 bucks, whatever you spent. And it's trash, it's garbage. Um, so it makes sense to me. If I'm gonna spend $400, if I can get three times the use, okay? If I can get three times the use, really? A gnat, a bug, really? We don't like bugs. Um, and it's going to do a better job throughout, then, then I'm cool. That's value for money. That's what I always preach on my channel is value for money. I just want you guys to know that I wouldn't go out and I'm not telling you to go, go buy a $400 hair dryer. That's not what I think. There's probably comparable stuff out there that, that would do the job just as good. Maybe you but it's, it's hot air. I mean, it's hot. You're blowing hot air. I mean, you've got a great motor that's blowing hot air out of a hair dryer. Now it's, if you guys dry your hair, which I do every day, you will see that the longer you hold your hair dryer up and you're doing it, the tired or your arm gets. That's a problem. Um, cause it takes me probably 10 minutes to dry my hair and it's not like I'm weak or anything. Um, but it, I mean, it does get uncomfortable over time holding it up. That would be a big perk if you guys, if your wife needs something for a birthday or Christmas, and she's um, and you're financially capable of spending this kind of money on a hair dryer, um, it might be a good investment for her, and then you can use it too if you have longer hair like mine. Um, I, I, am I overall pleased with the product? Yes. Um, it does offer a lot of features, but it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a hair dryer, it does blow hot air. I know that Dyson's products are quality from our, we have a Dyson vacuum for the house, and I don't foresee us having any issues with it. I mean, the thing works great. So it makes sense if their technology is inside of this, that it should work the same. Um, and if there's a customer service problem, I would think it would work the same as well. Um, guys, overall review um, from me on this, if you're a guy and it's just you, don't buy it. Um, it wouldn't make a lot of sense unless you're a hairdresser or somebody like that who needs to be efficient with their time when it comes to hair blow drying your hair. Or if you're a guy that wakes up 20 minutes before he's got to be somewhere and he does get in the shower, then this might be a product that you could use to save you those three extra minutes that you need to get out of the house on time. If you're a husband and wife and you need a hair dryer and you're new to getting hair on your head like I was at one point, I hadn't used a hair dryer for in, in ever in my life, um, it might be a good product for you to be able to share together if that would work. 
um, it would be worth the investment then. This is an investment, guys. It's $400 for a hair dryer. But if it's going to last over the time, three or four times the use, then it's well worth it to have. Um, so would I do it? I would, um, but I'm really doing it as, I mean, there's twofold. We're kind of in the hair business, so I can write the product off as a, as a cost. Um, and I really wanted to, I really wanted it, but I didn't have the, the nuts to, to spend $400 to get it. So um, that's my overall review on it from my guy's perspective. So guys, I know um, my hair guys out there, this might not help you, but if it does, I hope it does. If it, hit that thumbs up, um, like it, and subscribe. It's important to me. And uh, we'll keep making videos and trying to have great hair on our head. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.